What's up everybody, Mike here. Today we're going to unbox Apple's latest 13-inch MacBook Pro in the entry-level configuration to compare it against the 2017 15-inch MacBook Pro in the mid-tier configuration. Without further ado, let's get to unboxing. The machine we're unboxing today is spec'd with Intel's 2.3 GHz quad-core i5 processor which supports turbo boosting up to 3.8 GHz. It has an integrated Iris Plus graphics card and 8 gigabytes of RAM. Unlike this year's 15-inch sibling, this model is limited to integrated graphics and DDR3 RAM. Another similarity between this year's 13-inch and 15-inch models is that this year there are four Thunderbolt 3 ports included. This is a change in direction from last year which only included two Thunderbolt 3 ports. One thing that is different between the 13 and 15 inch MacBook Pro is that the 15 inch MacBook Pro has upgraded Bluetooth module to 5.0. Boxing this year's MacBook Pro doesn't reveal anything new. Apple still includes the 61 watt charger, a 2 meter cable, and the instruction booklet. Let's not forget those white Apple stickers. The setup process asks you to repeat common phrases such as show me my downloads, open up my documents, and what does my day look like. When comparing the 2018 quad-core i5 against the 2017 quad-core i7, we see that there's a negligible difference in the single-core and multi-core performance. Our final test will focus on the performance of the internal SSD drive. Let's compare the disk speed test results using Blackmagic's tool. On the left, we have the 2018 13-inch MacBook Pro and the 2017 15-inch MacBook Pro is on the right. While the disk speed test results on the 2017 comes in about 17% higher, the new MacBook has about a 42% increase in performance in the write speeds over last year's model. The obvious question here is, so what? Well, the answer depends on if you already own a 2016 or a 2017 MacBook Pro and you're tempted to upgrade, or if you're deciding which model to pick from today to replace an aging machine. Right now you can pick up last year's 15-inch model for about $300 off, making the delta between the two computers about $700. For that extra money, you're edging out this year's model with two extra inches of screen real estate and a discrete graphics card that has better performance. In addition to the cost, you can pay an increase in power consumption. So besides that, I want to thank everyone for watching my first video. Please go ahead and drop a comment with any feedback, smash that like button if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe if you want to see more tech-related videos.